Hi, welcome to the Ultraspin video series. Today we will be discussing some of the different design factors that need to be considered when selecting an oily water treatment system for your application. Process design is the single most important thing that an oily water treatment vendor can offer its customers. This process involves collecting information on those design factors and using that information to determine the right kind of solution. If you don't collect this information, then you run the risk of spending a lot of money implementing the wrong kind of solution and then having to spend a whole lot more money replacing that system with the correct one. If you would like to know more about the most important design factors, please keep watching. Whenever we're approached by a customer with an oily water application, we always make sure that we collect the technical data from them that's essential to make sure they get the correct oily water separator for their application. The four main design factors are the flow rate that their system is going to have to deal with, the treatability of the oily water, the oil load that the separator is going to see, and also the discharge points are where they're sending that treated water to. The first design factor that we look at is the flow rate. The flow rate is the volume of water that your oily water separator is going to need to treat in one hour. What we're looking at is if you have a large system, but you only actually have a small flow rate, this means that you've spent more money on your separator than you need to, and vice versa, if you have a small separator but a very large flow rate, then potentially the system won't keep up and you could end up with the water flooding and causing non-compliance or an environmental incident. The second design factor that we look at is the treatability. Now the treatability of your oily water is essentially how easy it is to separate the oil from the water. The bigger the oil droplet in your oily water, the easier it is to separate. There are a number of things that can influence the size of the oil droplet, including chemicals such as detergents and degreases, and also emulsifying pumps. And we need to look at all of these factors to establish exactly what type of oil separator you need and how powerful it needs to be. The next factor that we look at is the oil load. This is essentially the amount of oil that's going to come through to the separator in the water. The, there are a number of reasons why the oil load is important. Um, one simple factor that we need to consider is where are you going to store your oil and how much oil is there that needs to be stored. For example, if you've got a thousand litres of oil coming through every 24 hours, the last thing you would want is an oil tank that's only 20 litres, because where are you going to put it all? You're going to have to empty it every every few minutes potentially, which is the last thing you want. On the other side of things, if you've got a 10 litres of oil every 24 hours, then you can get away with quite a small oil collection tank, uh, which potentially saves you a reasonable amount of money. Another factor that we consider is the discharge location. Now the discharge location dictates what quality of water you're going to need to produce from your oily water separator. For example, if you're going to the sewer, you're just sending your water straight to the sewer, then that requires a lower quality of water to be able to comply with the regulations. But if you're trying to send the treated water to a river, for example, so straight to the environment, that's going to require a much higher quality of water uh, and therefore a much more powerful separator. There are a large number of technical factors that we need to consider when we're designing an oily water separator. The four main ones that we've discussed today are the flow rate, the treatability of the oily water, the oil load that the separator is going to see, and also the point that you're discharging your water to. We consider all of these factors to ensure that we leave nothing to chance and you get the best oily water separator for the right price. We understand that if you don't have any prior experience to dealing with oily water separators that you may not know how to go about collecting this information. And that's completely okay because that's where your oily water vendor is here to help. Here at Ultraspin, we not only identify the type of information that you need, but we also help you collect it. So once we've collected this information, we use it as part of our design process to make sure that the first solution is the right solution. If you would like any more information on these design factors, please feel free to give us a call or check out our website. Thank you.